Hey everyone, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here to do the reading for Friday, June 29th, 2018. Um, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. And I want to invite you to please give it a thumbs up and a share and do subscribe to the channel. It's brand new. It could use a little bit of circulation. I have decided to leave the doors and windows open for this recording because we are having the most gorgeous rain day ever. And that sound is so soothing to me. So I hope you can all hear it and I hope you can enjoy it with me. So let's jump in. Let's get started and see what's on tap for Friday. We're going to take a look at the energy atmosphere and see what we're going to be navigating throughout the day. Six of Swords. I love this card. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's air, it's Mercury in Aquarius. This is moving on to a promising destination. It's um, a choice or a decision has been made and a journey has been has begun. For some people, it is quite literally moving house or traveling, taking a trip. Um, but quite often this card indicates that we are leaving behind less than ideal circumstances and I'm, I'm going to stay brief with this message, but you, if you've been following the readings daily, you'll know that we've been having um, multiple messages day after day about cosmic gifts, divine gifts, um, new love, rekindled love. Um, so it's quite possible that some of us are coming out of uh, the healing process of a broken relationship or a relationship that's ended or there are those who are rekindling a current relationship, rediscovering their passion for one another. So this card indicates that we are moving on to something better. I like that. Let's take a look at the next card. Ten of Wands. Yeah. This is a completion card. Tens are completion. Um, but the Ten of Wands specifically, that's fire. It's Saturn in Sagittarius. Uh, this is an over-responsible and overburdened individual on the card. You can see she's underneath ten wands, and they're on fire. <laughs> so, not to, you know, downplay it, but this is discomfort. Ten burning wands over top of you, that's uncomfortable. But um, this comes out of a, what feels like was a desperate situation, and... It also, though, has determination to overcome it. That's the completion part of this 10. So that's beautiful. It also indicates that we have um, endurance and commitment to self. There's a time aspect on this card, too. This card can indicate a person who is overscheduled. And if you're moving out of uh, circumstances that you were grieving and or healing from, it's possible you turn to a creative project or your work to help with the void that that relationship or experience left. So you filled it in with work. But now that's become a bit too much because these divine cosmic gifts of new relationships, rekindled relationships is here for us. So we're going to need to be a little bit more intentional with our schedule so that we have a more harmonious balance between work and leisure. As a matter of fact, that was a message in either yesterday's or the day before. It was a reading about making our work, our career, playful so that we're never really working again, meaning that we so enjoy what we do. It just never feels like work. But... It still means that we have to be intentional about how we work, when we work, and how long we work so that we can give the kind of energy and receive the kind of energy that we've been dreaming about in these new and or rekindled relationships. Let's see what's next. King of Swords. Yeah. I like that. The King, that's... That's double air energy. There's Capricorn and Aquarius energy there. The King of Swords is all about structure, order, and authority. He's also very charming, and he's ruthless, meaning he'll drop a sword on BS in no time flat. So <laughs> that's, that's a good takeaway for us. Um, 
if the BS rises to the surface, just cut that away. You've had enough of it. You've had enough of it. What else about this king? He's seductive and passionate, too. Kings are about self-mastery. So, those are good energies to bring to our new and rekindled relationships, right? <laughs> Sweet. Um, the king's also open to new ideas, and um, he's very hands-on, and he's great at making decisions and choices, which is a necessary thing in this Ten of Wands. We need to be making choices and decisions that support the harmony of our lives so that we're in a great give and receive flow. Let's see what's next. The Magician. This is love in action. This is making dreams come true. This is following along on that theme of um, the cosmic gifts. This is another air card. We've got three air cards so far in Mercury energy here. This is creativity and success. It's love and action. It's great communication. It's desires and ideas expressed. It's hard to express ideas and inspiration here and desires when you're under 10 wands. This card is about not being receptive. How could you be? <laughs> I mean, look at that. So, unburden. It's time for us to unburden ourselves so we can be receptive. Because we, we do have some dreams coming true. These dreams are being grounded. They are already unfolding in our lives. The magician has all the elements of the tarot. He's got the coins, the cups, the swords, the wands. And he uses those elements to make manifest, make what he wants real in his world. This is what we're up to. That's why we have the six of swords above the magician, because we're moving on from this into something much more magical. Let's see what's next. Oh, gosh, yes, the two of wands. Perfect. This is building a future. This is building on your dream. So some of the dreams have taken root, and now there's more to work with. And this burden is coming off of us. It's being cut away by the king's sword. So we're free to, to build this future. Hmm. To build the now. This is a fire card. It's Mars and Aries. Mars and Aries is going to get some stuff done, folks. This is about having a vision, being a visionary, nurturing ideas and dreams. Yeah, goals taking root. That's so perfect. I did say that before I even turned that card over. It's also seen as a doorway to another realm of life experience. So between these wands, like you're stepping through them into the dream that you've been creating for yourself. Now that you've stepped through, you're on the other side, you've got more to work with, you can build more on it. Hmm. There's passion, there's will in this, and there's a gaining momentum. So this is all picked up speed, and we've got energy to spare in terms of building on this. I feel it is so important that we are making room in our lives so that we can continue to foster this, nurture it. We've been, we've been in some rough places. We have traversed some rough waters. And this is so beautiful. We have to have the, the uh, heart space to enjoy it. So let's get very intentional and deliberate about the way we work, play, our lives. <laughs> see what's next. Oh, yeah. So just to back that up, the five of um, pentacles, coins, is feeling like you've been left out in the cold. And I do feel these rough waters that we've come from are here in this card. We suffered, some of us suffered losses, whether it was loss of relationship, loss of career, 
uh, big major life changes that that created a a grief a short grief period a grief period and then of course a healing phase I do feel that we turned to projects or work to fill the void it's such a strong message and we've departed that because we we had a better dream for ourselves and that's taken root and on this card it's bittersweet because this person only has to look over their shoulder to know that the door to relief and warmth and nurturing is right there she could walk through it but you see that's a doorway she's not recognizing at the time this was us a while back but the two of wands is about going through a doorway to another realm this is another realm of experience in our lives so this is really what we've done we eventually stood up turned around and realized we could walk through the doorway we did it we did it we moved on so we're still probably setting down some of our burden because we've or not even burden anymore it's it keeps coming back to that being intentional and deliberate with how you work so you're not overworked. And the king's right there to support you in doing that, cutting out cutting out the, um, the BS in the, let's just call it the schedule or the routine, <laughs> so that this can be enjoyed. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. The lover's. See, this theme, it just doesn't quit. We're in a season of love, people. Oh, and look, Six of Wands. I have to take it. I've been taking the two bottom cards lately. I really do try just to stick to one, but when the messages are that good, you, you have to take them. The Lovers is a choice card. This is uh, Air Again in Gemini, and it's choosing to love again. But it's... It is making other choices. It isn't limited to relationships, though I'm sticking with that theme because that theme has been so prominent in the readings lately. So I'm staying with that for now. There's maturity in this card. And there's a choice that's being made. There's an integration of divine masculine and divine feminine here. And it feels like the choice being made... Um, it takes tension, it takes tension off, it takes tension off of us, stepping in from the cold. Can you imagine the sigh of relief when she does that? That's what this card is about, saying, yes, I'm doing it. This is reaching out to your beloved and being embraced. That's beautiful, and that releases tension. Oh, makes us feel like we've come home. And the uh, Six of Wands is here, which is a homecoming card. It's victory and triumph, but homecoming is coming home to your own heart, your own heart space. When you're in your own heart space, you have so much to share with the people who are nearest and dearest to you. It's a beautiful message. This is also having an emotionally available partner. So we're, we're moving on to relationships where... There is high emotional intelligence, um, divine connectedness between people, and, which also amplifies and raises our consciousness, which helps us live at a frequency of happy we haven't enjoyed for a long time. So it just keeps getting better and better. Follow your heart. Be at home in your heart. Follow your heart. All right, we are going to close out the reading with the Doreen Virtue Angel Answers. We've been doing this every day. It's been fun. This is an opportunity for you to ask a question of the cards. I'm going to pull three. You could ask three questions if you want. Whatever makes you happy. All right, let's see, it's our first card. Oh yeah. 
as my friend says, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> you really can't. <sighs> That's why I stuck with the romance theme, people. Next card. We're celebrating beloved relationships here. Oh, that just makes me so happy. Next card. Success. Yeah. We are going to successfully navigate this Ten of Wands. That's the end of a cycle. We are loosening up our, our schedule, how we work, how we play, so that we can um, devote ourselves to the giving and receiving of these beautiful relationships that are here for us now. Last card. And that creates big happy changes. Yes, indeed it does. Big happy changes, the magician. The magician's responsible for that here. Two of wands, six of swords, the king wielding a sword. Perfect. All right, one more final card, folks. I've been using this um, deck from, it's called The Power of Love by James Von Prague. It's a great little affirmation card. I think we can take this one into our day. We most need to know what will serve our highest and greatest good today. What kind of love do we have to share with everyone else? Here it is. It's a nice one. What a beauty. And right, right in harmony with our theme, commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. True. So true. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a private reading, you can do that in the description box below or at my website. Everything's connected, so just click down there. If you do order a reading, it will take me a week right now to get it to you. Thanks so much for watching. Be well. Have a beautiful Friday. And I will be back tomorrow with the... I'll post the weekend reading tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Thanks again. Be well. So much love to you.